Hi everyone and welcome back to our Not So Human Challenge. We know that Geneva has a lot to do all the time, but today we're doing something pretty fun. Because today is the occult party day. Oh my god, Lana. I can't believe Guidry was unfaithful to you, but one thing's for sure, you'll get through this, Geneva. I know you can. Oh my god, okay. I guess that she did share her little thoughts and troubles with Lana. They have such a nice friendship, it's so sweet. But let's stop you playing the organ. Oh, she's feeling so dazed. All oh, right, because of the mole, that's right. Right there awkward i guess that one of her old victims is like um rotting or something okay i don't want to think about it um let's just plan that party oh she's already in the party mood we'll have lana of course our old bestie vlad rio who we haven't really hung out with that much but honestly i would kind of like to so of course he's invited mandina isn't technically a cult but i think that she would really enjoy this party as a scientist to see all of these like different species so we'll invite her we'll invite morgan they're not really like a friend yet but uh, we're getting there hopefully and we have a lot to discuss because we did discover that weird portal in Glimmerbrook. We'll also invite Mariana and Laura Lay. I don't know if they'll really be willing to come but maybe they'll be here at least to keep Lana company and I'm also gonna be inviting Caleb even though he's definitely not a friend. Oh is it weird to invite Nancy? We'll try we'll see if she'll be coming over. We are still trying to be kind of nice to her so maybe she would like to come over and Father Winter is just kind of funny. I don't know if he'll be willing to like come to the party though because look at that that's just horrible i don't even re remember what we did to him but i'm sure that it wasn't nice oh and she changed into her party where she looks so pretty in this stinky dirty house oh maybe i should have invited bonhilda to actually take care of everything that would be a good idea definitely should have thought of that before because the guests are here already um but while she's doing that i need to show you look she actually wants to be friendly with gidri so she's not really that mad at him which is honestly a little strange oh everyone's here already Vlad is cleaning up the house. That's honestly pretty sweet of him. But we have Lana coming. We have Mariana. Oh, we do have actually Nancy arriving. I feel like she's going to be quite nervous, especially because Vlad is saying hello to her. Oh my gosh, Vladdy. Don't be scaring the guests, please. Mentina is having the time of her life. Look at that. That's so cute. Even Father Winter actually showed up. This is such a fun crowd. Oh my god. I absolutely love that. Morgan's here as well. So weird seeing them like this because I have like an updated version of them in my live series that I'm doing which is also like if you love this chaos you would love the live series but I have Morgan there as well and they have a pretty nice makeover so seeing the original is kind of weird to me right now but anyway everyone's here everyone's dancing everyone's having fun but we do need to do some um business so let's just get Lana aside and we do need to discuss some crystal properties with Lana so we might as well actually do that but I do want to go and take Lana upstairs so let me just add her to my group and we'll go chat upstairs for a second just so we can show her this table and let her know that we're doing stuff so here lana this is something that we're working on right now to try to help you out with your crystal just don't mind this thing over here that's just something completely different but we are making some progress it's maybe not really good progress but we're doing something this is going to be helping us we're working on it and we actually did make something already so let's gift lana the crystal that we made last time maybe she can try it out i don't really know if it's gonna do anything for her probably not but at least we can give her that it is excellent quality but it doesn't look like it's really like mermaid sort of helpful but maybe maybe it's gonna do something so let's give that to her she can try it out and then tell us the report a little bit later so hopefully she's gonna appreciate that and she is looking quite happy and enthusiastic about this so let's see if she's gonna be taking this if she's gonna be happy i think that she is quite excited so we did something good there she liked it so we can go back to the party and what is happening upstairs we have two groups of people so let's see what's happening here oh my gosh Lilith is actually here and she's chatting with Nancy does she remember Nancy Nancy took care of her when she was an infant oh my gosh that's kind of cute well you just enjoy the party then but Ginevra you're also chatting with everyone oh and you're chatting with Morgan actually well we do actually have to do some business with Morgan too so we could maybe drag you aside for a bit and ask you about the portal that that we discovered. Well, if you're feeling suspicious, this room is definitely not helping because it definitely has some um, interesting things in here, but just don't mind that. This is the only private room that we can talk in. But let's just talk about that portal real quick. So Ginevra is saying that she discovered it, but she didn't go through it. So is it is it safe? What 
what is the deal with that? And Morgan doesn't really want to say much. I feel like they're being a little bit cautious. They don't really want to tell Geneva anything directly because they don't want to be responsible if she goes off the rails, which is quite possible with Geneva. So Morgan's being kind of cryptic and is saying, well, all you need to do is take a walk. I told you already. And if you found the portal, then I guess that it was meant for you to find it. But that's all I'm saying. If you do want to take a step into that direction, feel free to and then maybe we can chat about it a little bit more then so she never is going to take that as like a bit of a i guess green flag it does sound safe morgan just doesn't really want to say anything directly but i guess from what morgan is saying we should oh good job on reaching level eight but if morgan says that we should step into that direction and then talk about it kind of sounds like morgan wants to meet you there right maybe she's jumping to conclusions but i guess that will go after we finish everything at home with the party oh my gosh this room is so full with like everyone chatting together i love these parties so much and the more kind of friends she never makes the more crazy and diverse this crowd is and it's just so fun like look at that would you ever think that vlad would be partying with mermaid scientists and spellcasters i think not so like this is amazing oh no but gidri just showed up right next to Geneva as well um, well, maybe let's invite him to dance just to kind of ease the tension because he is feeling quite mad. She does want to be friendly with him, so maybe I'll do that just so they don't make a scene in front of everyone. So maybe she should just kind of like try to say hello, talk about marriage. Um, sure, you can kind of bring it up. Oh, he's angry. And he also brought some angry specters with him. Are you trying to ruin my party, Ghidri? What are you doing? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. These specters are bothering Montina. I absolutely hate that they're doing that to her. Oh my god, we also have oh we have our other vampire friend at the door who's still bald i forgot to give her a hair oops but let's invite her in i guess that she is kind of invited but yeah we have angry yidri angry specters i think that he is trying to mess with the party which i absolutely hate even nancy's kind of upset and she's kind of used to this unfortunately all right chatting with yidri is not helping she wants to be yelling at him and their daughter is being like super sad here you might as well try to hang out with your dad make him be kind of useful well kind of force him at least oh the party just ended i feel like people will start leaving so then i guess that we can deal with yidri but we also had um a lot of people here in this area with all of these urns i feel like ginevra would be at least somewhat embarrassed to have all of these lined up maybe we should be doing something with them because it is creating some like awkward vibes no one really pointed it out but i'm sure that people were at least a little bit uncomfortable maybe we should do something about that maybe maybe i just go here and look at the urns see what could you be doing with them because it is like a little awkward so what can we do? I mean, I'm kind of thinking since she is trying to make up for it and she is taking these like paranormal gigs to banish the spirits that were like coming over into the normal world. Oh, it's speaking of actually, I do need to get her a gig. And she is an expert at this point. So I could... No, let's just start with the like medium one because she hasn't done this in a while. I'll just give her like a gig because I forgot to give her one. But she is trying to get rid of the spirits that kind of started going into the normal world, bothering the humans. And she's trying to make up for this and doing all of those things so i feel like we should at least let these people rest in peace and not have them be trapped in a house that they died in so i'm kind of thinking let's at the very least move them like outside create a little cemetery once she saves up enough money maybe it is a little weird to just have it like here it's maybe a little random but when you look at the neighborhood there actually is a graveyard right next to vlad's house it's actually a rather big one so maybe no one's really gonna mind it too much oh my god is that bone hilda running into well now morgan's house that's interesting bonhilda where are you going what's happening why is she what okay are bonhilda and morgan a bit of a thing why did she run to their house that's interesting okay well <laughs> i'm just i'm not gonna question it sure but these two are still yelling at each other we still have a couple of guests around which is making things really awkward but they do need to be discussing things oh yeah gidri is not a fan of the guests maybe he is feeling a little angry because he wants this thing to kind of be private and we still have people around so yeah it is a little awkward but they are chatting again about what happened about him getting married to someone because obviously Geneva is still not over that and she does think she is convinced for a good reason that oh my gosh her mother just started a pregnancy with someone but she is convinced for a good reason that Gidri was obviously cheating on her but to be fair they never actually officially dated they were never in a relationship but they have a child together and it looked like they were kind of a thing so this is kind of weird honestly so Geneva is still 
still kind of arguing about that, but Ghidri is upset that she is arguing about it. He is trying to tell her that maybe she's looking at this the wrong way. What if he had a reason to do this? Which doesn't make sense. Why would he have a reason to get married to someone else who isn't Ginevra? Like, why would he do this? She doesn't really believe him, but he says that he did have a reason. And if she's being stubborn and doesn't really want to hear it, then fine. But he was doing this for her and for their child. Oh my god, why do we have an audience for this? Well, other than you, of course, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that conversation is over. Ghidri is trying to come up with some BS excuse. Ginevra doesn't really believe him and we just got interrupted anyway, so we'll just leave it at that. But it is something to consider if we should maybe look into it further or do we just not believe Ghidri anymore at all? Oh my gosh, look at this. Our old vampire friend is just here playing with Lilith. That's really sweet. And we still have Ryo at the door, so I guess most of the guests are kind of still around. Well, not most of them, but some of them. So it was a really good party if everyone is still trying to come back. But her talking to Lilith just reminded me that today, technically, because the midnight has passed, is actually Lilith's birthday. She's gonna be a child. And it's on spooky day. That's such an amazing coincidence. I genuinely can't believe it. That's amazing. Oh, but Ginevra's birthday is coming up. Not very soon, but kind of. She must be feeling at least a bit nervous about that. But let's take the attention off of Lilith for a second and try to make this person be our friend because Ginevra is not really that evil anymore so maybe more people will be willing to talk to her and be friends and it looks like it's kind of working so I'm really happy with that but Lilith you are feeling kind of tired and everything so let's maybe have you go oh maybe this this friend new friend can help you with the potty while Ginevra does stuff downstairs because she does have human needs that she needs to take care of so let's maybe just try to grab some food and whatnot so you just have your meal in your seance room hopefully she's not really getting bad ideas that she wants to get rid of Ghidri here I'll have her make some coffee so she can continue working after she finishes her food but I did notice that she does want to mourn the dead so I feel like she does agree with the idea of making a graveyard for her old victims it is at least a small way of making it up to them like at the very least I'll just put them outside so they can like look outside see the stars get some fresh air for like the first time in a really long time time since they died so we'll just have them be here and eventually I'll try to make the area look kind of nice and everything but this is what it is so far and I feel like it's kind of um well nice when you don't really think much about the circumstances. It is officially spooky day which means that it's actually officially also Lilith's birthday which I guess that it's kind of oh no she just got electrocuted. <gasps> Imagine if she died on her daughter's birthday. I do need her to make a cake which is probably gonna be bad quality because she's not feeling well but let's make a cake for Lilith. At least Ghidri is still here. Hopefully he's gonna stick around long enough for the birthday. But we do need to make that cake and then maybe we need to make a quick stop to Glimmerbrook before that or after that maybe. Maybe we should focus on Lilith while Ghidri is still here. Oh my god, Ghidri just left. Are you serious? But there we go. Lilith is about to blow her candles and she's gonna be a child. I can't wait to see her as a child. So let's have you age up and there we go. There we go, she is a child officially. And for her traits, so she was fussy and I feel like she was intense when she was an infant. So we are kind of going for more of a intense character, aren't we, with Lilith? We haven't really explored what she's like that much so far. But I actually have a bit of an idea. So she is kind of half ghost, half vampire. She's neither, she's kind of in between, which is really frustrating. Maybe she would be feeling a little bit gloomy. She's definitely not a vampire, but she's obviously not a ghost because she is made of flesh and stuff. Maybe she's just feeling kind of trapped in between of those two things and she is growing up in this really weird household with not really that much affection to be honest. Ginevra is trying ever since she became human. She is a bit of a better parent but she doesn't really have that parental instinct that much. You know, a child that never really experienced love and isn't really feeling right existing the way that they are. It's not a very happy existence so I feel like Gloomy would kind of make sense for her. And we need to get into cast to give her makeover. So this is what she looks like before the makeover and I can see that she looks a lot like Ghidri actually. This doesn't look like Ginevra at all which is really interesting but we have a lot to do and a lot to change so let's just get rid of everything real quick and actually if you did see on my community post I did age her up as like a bit of an experiment just to see what she looks like and she's gonna be really fun when she ages up into like a teenager and an adult. Of course that like little draft is gonna change with time but right now I have 
have like a vision for her what she's gonna look like and I'm just so excited I'm just trying to pick out what hair she would have now and she does have straight hair oh my gosh why are her ears so little that's interesting I mean I'll leave it that way but she doesn't have any ears that's weird I don't really like the headband but I feel like this is so cute for her before I do anything let's give her her eyes back and I'll give her the same skin that she never has because I did that before didn't I so maybe she's gonna look a little bit more like her because in the facial features well to be fair she does have custom I think nose and cheekbones so she does look a lot more like Ginevra than I thought but she does still look a lot like Idri as well so I want to bring in a bit more of Ginevra back so we'll give her the same skin that Ginevra has wow this is so pretty <gasps> that's gorgeous okay I need to be careful not to get rid of her like little eyebrow thing I think that one disappeared already so I guess that she had two different ones that's weird I think it was maybe something like this because I'm pretty sure she had it on both eyebrows so now let's dress her and she did have a bit of a like black and white vibe didn't she so I'll go in that direction I did want to switch more to white with her and maybe a little bit more ethereal even but I don't really know how to make that happen in like children's clothing especially because I don't really have that much CC so I'm just feeling a little bit lost what to do with her right now so whatever she's gonna be wearing now isn't really representing her that well when she ages up I mean I could just put her in something crazy like that because she is supposed to be like half vampire isn't she but I don't I don't think that this is really the vibe for her so that is our Lilith all grown up as a child I feel like she was a toddler for a really long time so this change is really welcome it's nice to see her looking a little bit different so let me know what do you think of her do you like her is she kind of creepy enough do you kind of get the vision that I, that I had for her so here she is in game eating her little birthday cake are you just watching her for entertainment that's just a little creepy I guess that she is a bit unnerving isn't she so I guess then that makes uh, a lot makes a lot of sense for her but now that she is old enough to kind of be left home alone I guess that it's kind of appropriate and, and okay to go because we do have stuff to do in Glimmerbrook Elysia never knows how to get there this time so she's running straight to that portal and now she is actually ready to go through it and see what's waiting for her on the other side it's a little bit unfortunate that she didn't really get a chance to work on any of the crystal stuff so she is kind of neglecting Lana's quest for a bit and even aliens to be fair she didn't really do that much today when it comes to any of her stuff that she needs to do so hopefully going to this portal is actually going to make things worth it and that she is going to be finding some answers here but I'm just going to be leaving it right here and we'll go through the portal in the next episode which you can click right here and if the next episode is not out yet here is something to watch while you wait see you there